Here's a novel example for a PIR sensor controlling a servo. You could adapt this idea perhaps for, for Halloween when somebody passed by to extend a scary hand or something. Or maybe at this time of year, if you had a nativity scene model, you could animate part of that, light a shining star whenever somebody approached. Clearly you could also use this to operate a relay or a switch to control whatever you desire. This is based upon another one of the simple Eligu sketches. Let's take a look at that and find out how it works. Looking now at the Eligu example lesson 17, we have a good description here of the PIR sensor, passive infrared. It is quite a complex sensor, although its output is remarkably simple, being either high or low, depending on whether it's detected something or not. We look at the structure, it describes it here and tells us it has two slots. If you're careful, we can actually remove the lens. What type of lens is this? Well, yes, it's a Fresnel lens. Yes, I know it's spelt Fresnel, but there again, it was French. In the top of the sensor, you can only see this, the glass window here, so it's not terribly exciting. And this helps, obviously, the detection range. You can see other examples here of this outside solar-powered light, which will detect you and switch on. And similarly, in my house, I have some of these wall switches installed to automatically switch lights on and off. You can go through and read this description for yourself. Looking on the back of the sensor, we have the two adjustments, one for the time delay and one for the sensitivity, and a trigger select jumper, which essentially changes it from a single trigger to a repeating trigger. And the connection's very simple, just power and the output from the sensor high or low. There follows a very detailed description of how you can set the sensitivity and the delay. Once again, I'll leave you to read through that yourselves. The connection to the Arduino just requires the power and the output from the sensor, which is connected to input 7. Looking at the sketch, it's probably one of the simplest. All that this sketch does is to trigger the LED on the Arduino Uno module. And we saw that the PIR pin is on 7, and it just has a, a, an integer here to store the value of the sensor. Setting it up for the LED to be an output, and the PIR sensor as the input, and setting the initial state of the LED to off. And the loop, very, very simply, just getting the value from the device and writing it to the LED. The sketch is running on the board now, so if I move near it, you can see the LED activate as it senses me. So a very short video today just covering this sensor but uh, there are some very interesting applications for it as you saw at the beginning.